Russia and Ukraine are intensifying their attacks on each other. Ukraine says its two largest cities continue to see a wave of airstrikes. This is a look at the damage in Kyiv. Residential buildings and streets were hit. Despite Ukraine's air defenses, some missiles are getting through in both Kyiv and in the Kharkiv region. On the other side of the border, Russia says it shot down a number of Ukrainian missiles over its southern Belgorod region. Anna Cunningham is following all of these developments for us from London and joins us now. So, Anna, good morning. What is the latest on the Belgorod front? Morning, Hillary. Well, it's uh, day 679 of Russia's large-scale war against Ukraine. And this morning, we've been hearing of another attack from the Ukrainians on the Russian border city of Belgorod. Russia's defence ministry there taking to the Telegram messaging app to say that its air defences destroyed a total of 12 missiles launched at the region. Um, Hillary, this region has seen a fairly regular number of attacks, but it's only on Saturday that they really hit hard. They've been previously quite low-scale attacks, but on Saturday, Ukraine did launch certainly its biggest attack on the area so far. Russia saying that 25 people were killed then, and that prompted the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, to say that that attack on Belgorod would not go unpunished. And subsequently, we've seen these daily air assaults on Ukraine, including, as you said, the capital, Kyiv, being hit it hard, as well as Kharkiv, Kherson, Mykolaiv and Zafirisha regions. So that is the response from Russia's president. But we've also heard from Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky. What is he saying? Yes, that's right. I mean, he does do a nightly address, but he's also posted a video on Facebook saying that Russia launched a total of 300 missiles and 200 attack drones at Ukraine since December the 29th. So just in the past five days alone, he said that these attacks have been done to cause the most damage, describing it as premeditated terror and saying Russia must learn what accountability for destroying life is. He went on to talk about the need for more long-range missiles. And interestingly, today, this morning, we've heard from Poland's foreign minister, Radoslaw Sikorski, who has called on the West to tighten sanctions on Russia and also provide more long-range missiles to Ukraine, saying the West should now respond to these latest attacks on Ukraine in a language that Putin understands. Okay, Anna, thank you for this. We appreciate it.